Josh Green for seconds out here with Terry Harper. Just Terry, just sum up how your um, training's gone in the first few months, obviously leading up to a really big fight in your career just a couple of weeks ago. Um, it's gone fast, very fast. Uh, I remember like having 11 weeks thinking, oh wow, it's, it's ages away, and now two weeks, two weeks away. I can now say it's next week that I'm fighting. Um, but yeah, I've had a good camp, very good camp. I think it's come faster than you expected because I think when obviously you can see you're really enjoying what you're doing at the moment and does that make it all worth it when, when fight night comes? Yeah definitely, um, I've been enjoying this training, I've been getting a lot of sparring in um, so yeah I think that, that bit makes it go a bit, a bit faster um, but I think it's just it's such a big occasion um, and you're kind of counting down, counting down days so uh, yeah. How much do you know about your opponent obviously Eva Wallstrom a very experienced opponent. Have you done much research into her? Are you focusing on, on yourself for now? Um yeah we've done we do, we've watched we watched a few clips of it uh, Eva. Um she's a well scored opponent. Um she, she's obviously a world champion uh not touching five years so she's not a world champion for nothing. Um she's good at what she does and it's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting fight. It's gonna be um, a 50-50 fight I believe. But um Eva's 40 next, I'm 23, I'm young, I'm hungry. Um, I think there's nothing either can beat me on really, we believe. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm expecting a strong win on February 8th. You look at that and you think it's either going to be experienced, but maybe looking into the later rounds, you'd like to think you've got maybe the physical edge there. Do you think that's that's one of the main things that gives you an advantage over him? Yeah, um, personally I think I'm a big I'm a big super featherweight anyway, um, so I'm getting back in that ring, 10 stone. Um, and yeah, my, my physical presence, it's, it's, it'll take a lot out of either. We've seen that she starts to hold a lot in, in the later rounds, um, whether that's uh, getting tired. Um, so yeah, I think that's when I'll step up my gear and, and push on for a stoppage. Do you think um, there's any extra pressure facing a, a former world champion, as you say, and somebody with a big name in the sport? Every fight I, I feel pressure, um, no matter who it is. I could be fighting a, a German or a German woman, should I say, um, and I'll still feel the same pressure. But yeah, it's a bit. Uh, it's just a big occasion. Um, I got to try and not let it get on top of me. And then on Sunday, Sunday night, when I wake up as a new WBC world champion, that's when I let it all sink in. But it also being obviously not far from home, is that going to be? Great for you to see so many friends and family in the audience, in the in the crowd, I should say. For yeah, it's, it's it's always special to fight in front of your own crowd, um, and I've, I've sold touching 700 tickets, so it's it's going to be a crazy night um, atmosphere. Uh, and people say oh, they always ask, "Do you wear this?" But you do. You it does, and it, it does it does something different to your performance, I believe. You say waking up world champion on a Sunday. What opportunities do you think it's going to open up if you, if you win the fight on Saturday? Uh, it's, this this fight will change my life. I know that for sure. Um, yeah, it's, I, I'm 23. WBC world champion at 23 years old. So it's going to open loads of doors for me. And Katie Taylor is a name that's <laughs> mentioned. I, I know you've been asked about that before. Yeah. But is she somebody that you look up to and is possibly in the pipeline in, in the next what, years, months, whatever? Yeah, Kate is my idol. Um, she's the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing today. Uh, for now, we're focusing on me. I'm in the 10th fight on February 8th. Uh, I've got a lot of experience um, to like, build on. So I believe the Kate Taylor fight will happen, but um, I don't see it being anytime soon. Um, but it'll be an honour to share a ring with Katie Taylor whenever that does happen. Do you see the last 12 months as a bit of a maturing process in your career? Because you've really stepped it up in the last few months and we're seeing the big fights now, aren't we? Yeah, um, it's now I'm a championship fighter. I'm always in these 10 round fights. Um, I can see how much I'm maturing just in my training. Like, I used to be nervous for sparring and stuff like that. Now it's just in my main office. And, I'm used to getting in and doing them 10 round spars and stuff. So, yeah, I've definitely developed and the skills are always improving as well the time I walk through the gym. And just finally from me, what are your goals outlined for 2020? Is there anything you said when you woke up on the 1st of January, this is what I'm going to do this year? Uh, keep winning, <laughs> keep enjoying what I'm doing. Um, I'm hoping to get to America this year, if possible. Uh, whether that's a vacation or boxing, um, I'm happy with whatever. Uh, but yeah, just keep winning, keep enjoying myself. Um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot.